to YouTube with your boy ATK reacts back with another video. Today's a day, bro. We react to another um death battle video, you feel me? And this is this is the death battle I might be the most hyped for. I ain't gonna lie, maybe my favorite one out of all the death battles, you know what I'm saying? Gogeta versus Vegito. You know what I'm saying? The two transformations well, like when they combine in, in Dragon Ball Z, you got the fusion and the um the earrings, that's what they are, you know what I'm saying? And I already know from the start, I'm rooting for Gogeta, bro. Gogeta better get this dub. I don't care about none of that, bro. I don't I, he's one of my favorite characters. Go G the better get this done, you know what I'm saying? If y'all need to check that sub button, with that being said, let's get straight to the video. Let's see Gogeta versus Vegito, bro. Gogeta better not lose. I don't care, bro. I don't care. Gogeta better not lose, bro. He's just too cool. I love Vegito too. I am not sleeping on Vegito. I know Vegito, Vegito was fire. Yes. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta? Nothing tops that. Can finally conquer the world. Fight Vegito. <coughs> what? Oh, come on, it's the ultimate Dragon Ball. Nah, I'll give you them a Dragon Balls, boy. I'm, I'm gonna wait for the main subscribers, y'all. <laughs> or Vegito, the mix who surpassed gods. Intriguing. They are in many ways identical, yet still quite different. Though in hey. canon, they only have a collective total of three brief appearances. To truly for real. who would win, let's examine all of their material. So that's Z, GT, Super, Movies, Games, Guide. I gotta say, I gotta say one thing. I know a lot of y'all don't like Dragon Ball GT, bro. It wasn't that bad. I can lie. It wasn't that bad. It, had, it came out a lot of good forms. Hold on to your Dragon Ball. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. Pause. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Let's go, Gogeta! I'm rooting for Gogeta, bro. Come on. Imagine, it's 1995 Ooh, like nice. and you're at a movie in Japan. You're there to watch Dragon Ball Z Fusion Reborn. And it's gonna be the most radical movie ever, dude. I mean, yeah, it was a little weird when Adolf showed up, but True. then... It happened. That's when Gohan punched oh, Frieza in the stomach. Were pushed the thing. To the brink with only one option left. They merged into a single being of amazing power. Gogeta! Yes, sir. That would be the like, look at that fit. You ever saw. Look at that After fit. You peaked at eight. Fun fact, while Vegito had already debuted in the manga two months earlier, Gogeta was created first. After all, mm. the movie had been in production throughout the previous year. Two Saiyans, the proud son of royalty and the lower Five class nine height. <laughs> one epic powerhouse? This is the true potential of Goku and Vegeta. Easily a top five Dragon Ball moment. Hey, for sure. the first time we saw Super Saiyan, but, but I think this comes close. This method of fusion was talking by the Metamorans, a mysterious alien people who we never actually see. But I guess they like wearing crop tops with inflatable shoulder pads. Anyway, when Goku taught this fabled technique to go to oh, nah. trunks, it was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. This is the fusion dance. On top of an incredibly precise movement routine, fusion requires both. That's a classic move. Everybody did that at least once. To fuse successfully. A literal personification of the phrase, only as strong as the weakest link. It's pretty easy to screw up. Trust me, but if you nail it, oh, they turn fat. I remember that part. That John was so funny. Though not part of mainline canon, Goku and Vegeta first use this to battle Janemba, a demon basically yep. composed of essence of evil. Probably smells like cats. Gogeta defeated him in less than two minutes. Twenty years later, Gogeta would become canon to conquer one of the most Brawly. entities in the multiverse, Broly. Obviously, I was Gogeta so hyped when I seen this, powerful. yo. But I think his most underappreciated skill is how he comes up with awesome attack names. Like the Big Bang Kamehameha, Stardust Fall. Bro, in Dragon Ball Xenoverse, bro, that was my move. I used to go crazy with that. You was not Our seeing me. And the ultimate villain killer, Stardust Breaker. A fancy looking attack that completely obliterates all traces of evil within a target. That's how it took out Janemba in one shot. The guy was literally made of evil. Or cats. Weirdly enough, or cats. This is similar to Devil Man's Devil Might Be. Which causes the evil within a person to explode and Oh, you mean Spike? That guy's hilarious. Which obscure character are you gonna reference next? Icarus? Sour Man? General Rildo? Oh, that's man, that so that's some old John. From General Dill. Uh, over the years, Gogeta has achieved the empowered forms of Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan Blue, and even Super Saiyan 4. Four. Yes, uh, sir, the best. I don't care about none of that. Super Saiyan 4 is Super a totally 4. unique branch of transformation. Instead of using Divine Key like Super Saiyan God, it taps further into Goku and Vegeta's Saiyan bloodline. Yes, sir. Fuzzy red fur and teen God that's the best transformation, bro. Super Saiyan 4. Form increases a Saiyan's inherent aggression. Though you wouldn't know it with Gogeta. 
He basically becomes Dragon Ball's Bugs Bunny, reveling and messing around with his foe any way he can. Until the fusion runs out. That's right, the fusion dance has a time limit that boy got of cocky. minutes. This can be reduced even more if Gogeta uses up a lot of energy. Against Omega Shenron in GT, he's split apart after about 10 minutes. Just more evidence that the amount of power Gogeta possesses is enormous. For real though. He did the striking Broly so hard that the boundaries between dimensions shattered like glass wasn't enough to burn through his time. Hell, he was only at Super Saiyan 1 when he did that. After going blue, Broly didn't stand a chance. Broly, Broly a beast film, though. Don't be sleep. implies that Gogeta could possibly take on Beerus. In Dragon Ball Heroes, Gogeta continues to prove he's one of the multiverse's S-tier fighters. He even defeated the Crimson Mask Super Saiyan Rose full power Goku Black and Ultimate God Slayer Hearts the God Hater. Who, is, you know, who are these people? And two Gogetas together could take on Fu. D just, just Fu? After all that, he just called Fu? Dark King Fu, the artificial bio-android demon mutant. He has Saiyan, Namekian, Earthling, Majin, and Eternal Dragon DNA. Is this fan fiction? Hearts the God That's what I'm saying. Claim Fu could become an entity akin to Zeno, that little blue baby who can erase a multiverse with a thought. But these Gogetas achieved even stronger forms than before. One was in Super Saiyan Blue of all, the boosted form Vegeta achieved during the Tournament of Power. The other I didn't realize was Super, Super Saiyan on Dragon Ball Heroes, bro. Super I'm form. sleep. He was Super Full Power Saiyan 4 Limit Breaker. Ah. I think my tongue is permanently twisted. Now. What are they saying right now, y'all? Y'all gotta let me know in the comments. I know y'all wrote to me last video in the comments over the uh, the the um, Asuka, but I really don't know these people, bro. I, I'm and I watch Dragon Ball. It's one of my favorite shows, bro. But I don't watch Dragon Ball Heroes. Oh, it's Budokai Tenkaichi. In Weekly Jump issue 28 from 1995, the fusion dance was stated to unify Goku and Vegeta's spirits and draw out their fusion. As long as a fight with Vegito lasts less than 30 minutes, the magazine says Gogeta should win. And then in yeah. the video game Raging Blast, there's a what-if scenario where Gogeta beats Vegito in a sparring session. But he was about to run out of energy, so maybe it could have gone either way. Though with his power and skill, it's nah, go any of Vegito him. can't hang, bro. Gogeta. Two of the greatest warriors in history merged together as one. What more could you want as a fan? And what more could you fear? Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is a... Toughest, toughest fit. Hold on. Now right, let's see with Dito, bro. Boo! I don't like Boo. Yeah, go on. Go on, my favorite character. To consume the world in chaos, Goku and Vegeta were pushed to the brink with only one option left: fusion. They the portal, used the rings, I mean, earrings. To become a merged being of unimaginable power. Does, does this sound familiar? But there wasn't time to teach Vegeta an awkward dance routine he'd ultimately despise. Instead, they used the Patara. Only the gods themselves could rock bling like this. That's right, the Patara earrings come from the Kais, the yes, gods sir. that supervise the universes. By placing one Same earring Kais. on the person's opposite ear, the Patara nah, forces same height, same height. two beings together, no power level match. Vegito, Vigo Rock. In this case, Goku and Vegeta fuse to become Vegito. Okay, seriously, Vegito? Couldn't they have a better name? Yeah, Vegito's fine. Bad. That's a cool name. Remember, Fusion Reborn started production well before Toriyama penned Vegito's first appearance. So, uh, do I call dibs on the better name, huh? But still, sure. shouldn't it be like Vegiku? Not like that's much better either. Why Vegito? It's that black fit kind of hard. Vegito is formed from the first half of Vegeta and the latter half of Kakaroto. This is why Viz Media actually translated it to Vegerot. Oh, that one sucks too. Okay, yeah, good thing he told Vegito. about how he blows shit up real good. Vegito has numerous techniques that are entirely his own, many of which are, fittingly, perfect combinations of Goku and Vegeta's signature moves. Yes, sir. Such as the final Kamehameha, formed like Vegeta's final flash, but fired like Goku's Kamehameha way. That, that's a tough. Spirit sword, the Saiyan I love the Spirit Sword, the bro. Banshee. Blast, I love the spirit which, sword. No, it's not the ghost attack you're thinking of. With Goku and Vegeta's powers combined, Majin Buu was no match. Super Vegeta was so friggin' powerful that even being turned into candy didn't slow him down. It now he did beat him. I forgot about that. He beat him up as candy, such bro. Such impressive degree that he was capable of effectively ignoring having his matter entirely altered and his DNA eradicated. He continued on as the incredible son. Can you imagine no getting beat up by a piece of chocolate? No organs of any kind, and he still kept slapping around that big pink ass. Uh, phrasing. 
Presumably, this is similar to how Vegeta overpowered Bobbidi's mind control, or how Goku broke through Hit's time skip with Kaioken. A yes, great sir. power level can overrule basically anything a weaker one does. Though, to be fair, the Super Candy is a pretty extreme example. But Vegito's a pretty extreme guy, even for the Dragon Ball That scary. That was scary right there. that godly blue hairspray and beat the crap out of Merged Zamasu, a double deity. Like a fusion dick measuring contest, but not at all close. Though similar but, to oh. his dancing counterpart, that's badly a wildin' man. A wildin'. Overtaxed himself, which was kind of weird. Back in the day, they said these Batara fusions that's were really permanent. Up. Turns out it's only permanent for Supreme Kai's. Vegito's form can last up to one hour before splitting apart. One hour, a long time. Severely, if he goes full tilt. Never mind. In the manga, Vegito <laughs> formed after Zamasu fused and split apart when they expected fused Zamasu to have 20 minutes left, meaning he cut his time down to 40 minutes at most. Though in the anime, it was way less since he tried to quickly overpower Zamasu with a single attack. The Patara have their own set of rules. Unlike the fusion dance, this form is maintained by the power of the earrings, not the fusers themselves. As such, destroy. The earrings ends the fusion. And mm. you slap the Patar on while in a Super Saiyan form, you can't power down while fused. So if Goku and Vegeta aren't careful, they can find themselves draining power when they don't need to. But surprise, Vegito's got into his own Super Dragon Ball Hero shenanigans, and he's got the full power Yo. for two. Look, Wiz, I think that looks Super Saiyan 4 Vegito. Aside from it's food, crazy. He's battled heavy hitting threats to the multiverse like Cumber and Mechikabara. And just like with Gogeta, there's plenty of people. Who think Vegeta would win this fight? Dizentius four and he can't, seven. bro. He can't. Go Vegeta's that's that guy. Tara fusion is superior to the fusion dance. Old Kai said that Ray Yatsi here. He beat Motors as I we bet we referring to what was believed at the time to be a permanent fusion. Not having to worry about overspending your time limit Vegito. would certainly be a greater effect if it were. I think they did um um Xenoverse can get in the way of Vegito's awesome power. Gods and demons alike are no match. When there's no one strong enough to save the day, then perhaps two will do. Two will Ah That game looks fun though. If y'all trying to sponsor this video, hit my D hit my DM. That's battle scary. Do it. It's time. Hear my wish, Eternal Dragon. It's time. No! Yes, sir, bro. Yes, sir. Go G to get this W, bro. Go G to get this W. This madness. Whoa, Vegeta. Am I really that much taller than you? Stop it, Hey, yeah. Uh, I'm dead. Let's go, Gogeta! You better not let me down, bro. Don't let me down. I'll turn this whole thing off. I'm not I'm not taking another L, bro. Gogeta better not lose. Let's go. I love the animation, though. That looks fire, bro. Oh, my gosh. I love this animation. Ooh, that was tough. Gogeta just looked cooler, bro. He has to win. Mm-hmm. Hey! Over there, the dragon, he'll get mad. Hit him with the little, come here. Not bad. Wanna kick it up a notch? Super Saiyan Blue. But how about some variety? Super Saiyan 4. Woo! <laughs> Don't, I like Super Saiyan 4 better than Blue, bro. Damn! That was a hard punch. Super Saiyan 4 is so much better than blue, bro. I'm sorry. Let's go. They done broke the time barrier. Or whatever it was. No, not the tail. That's not fair, bro. It's illegal. No, Super Saiyan 4 is gone. But it's all good. Show him, show him what we do. Show him what we do, Gogeta. Show him what we do, Gogeta. Oh my god, that looks dangerous. Kaioken? Something Gogeta? Why are you playing around? No, no, no. He gonna split. He gonna split. No, Gogeta don't lose. Gogeta bet not lose, yo!
Vegeta better not lose. I don't know what that was he did too. Oh, we good. Oh, we good. Dragon Fist. Wait, Gogeta might have lost. No, he might have lost. Oh my god, I'm done watching this show. I'm done watching this. I'm done watching this, bro. I'm done watching this, bro. KO! Oh man, that was epic! Totally worth the wish! Oh, I guess we probably get no. a No! I suppose world domination can wait another year. Every time I pick someone! Incredibly close. No, seriously, how could it not be? They're almost oh. exactly the same person. With a few minor differences here time. and there, like signature attacks. Neither Vegito nor Gogeta had one single longer power duration, no power to the 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 Except perhaps Vegito's longer time limit, though it's not so clear cut. Both have overtaxed their energy. No, their bro. Go look at Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. It just looked too cool to lose, you know what I'm saying? I don't care who's stronger at the end of the day, bro. That one hurt. Gogeta's power can actually drain the Patara faster than Gogeta's does. Oh, Ooh. that one hurt, y'all. That definitely gave Vegeta more flexibility and strategy. So more often than not, it's safe to say Gogeta would run out of juice first. Also, when Vegeta or Gogeta diffuse from power overuse, it's typically difficult for them to immediately fuse again. It is. It is. I understand, bro. I understand, but no, bro. No. Look at Gogeta. He looks better. Power advantage. Remember how the fusion dance requires the fusers to match their power levels? Well, the Patara don't need that. Goku doesn't need to match Vegeta's slightly lower power levels, so there's nothing stopping Vegeta from combining the full sum of their parts. Ah, oh, poor Vegeta. I hate, I hate when they explain yeah, stuff. Like, bro, I get it. Don't, don't prove me wrong. You know what I'm saying? Let me, let me at least be mad in no, without knowing I'm actually wrong with facts. But hey, could Gogeta have destroyed the earrings? Nope. He would have had to be able to overpower Vegito first, like how Goku could only destroy Kefla's earrings after he reached Ultra Instinct. Remember, when comparing levels of power in Dragon Ball, the greater one can overrule almost anything the weaker one does. That. The they did say really that. They did say that. Tend to be protected by the user's key aura, similar to their clothing. The only time we've ever seen Patara damaged or specifically targeted are when the wearer is overwhelmed or in a vulnerable state. If any straight, he shouldn't have did that little fake move, bro. I know that's what he do, but like. Lastly, there's some debate over yeah, about to roast me again. In their first appearances, Vegeta I just I like Gogeta better, but I always like Gogeta. He's my one of my favorites. Far more deliberate against Janemba, and thus far more successful. However, these are not core personality traits, and assuming so would be inconsistent with Vegito's serious fight with Zamasu and Gogeta's more brash fights with Broly and Omega Shenron. Context is key. As far as personality and mental ability goes, Gogeta and Vegito are practically identical. In the end, Vegito's higher power level, no matter how slight it was, made a big difference in protecting and maintaining his longer, more flexible time limit. Gogeta was gonna need meta more than that to beat Vegito. Sorry, Wiz, I know that pun was potarable. Wait, shut up. Earth's Dragon Balls give two wishes, right? Oh, yeah. Hey, Shinron, I wish for you to fuse me and Wiz. <laughs> the winner is Vegito. No! <laughs> I don't care, bro. I don't, I don't want to see that, man. Shout out to Death Battle. I'm sure I like the video. Go, go to the channel, check out the video. That one hurt. That one hurt personally, bro. I thought, I really thought. Gogeta is gonna win. That's my one of my favorite, you know, characters in Dragon Ball Z. But it's all good though. I understand they both tough, but that one hurt. Let me know in the comments who y'all thought was gonna win. And I know y'all about to roast me and drop the facts, you know what I'm saying? And I, I appreciate y'all doing that though. So go ahead, you know what I'm saying? Let me know what y'all opinions and stuff. What y'all think? I appreciate y'all watching the video. If y'all not set up, you hit that sub button. It's your boy ATK Reacts, and we out of here.